Simple Soul. Got another dope visual for y'all. You know what I'm saying? This time we taking it to the NYC, to Harlem. And we placing the spotlight on GDEP. Just want to provide an update on this case. Um, for those who don't know GDEP, he's currently incarcerated. He was a, um, a talented artist that had um, some commercial success back in the early 2000s during his time with Bad Boy Records. But um, he ended up going through some things after that. If you mess with the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and all of that. But let's get into it. I went from to, to on the block, you know what I mean? You're in your area, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to something real fast. So, you know, and then, you know, I was back on the block. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it's full circle, you know? GDEP is a product of Harlem. And uh, coming up, he always had a love for music. At the age of 18, he ended up dropping out of college um, to place full focus on pursuing a career, you know what I'm saying, in the rap game. He, um, he hustled to get money to pay for studio time. Right now, we on 15th of Lex, you know what I mean? This is story, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But here you come through here, this is where it's at. Whatever you want, any type of flavors, man. It's crazy, man. Niggas, niggas got that trail mix, man. It's not a game. One month before his 19th birthday, g was riding his bike through Harlem when he spotted a man standing outside. I pushed him, I asked him where the money was. He didn't, he didn't say anything. It's like, he just, uh, he just really just like, you know, responded, you know, like, you know, like uh, facially, like, you know, but like, he, didn't, he didn't say anything. So, you know, I just, I just kept, I asked him again, where, where was the money? And he put his hands up, and then he just, uh, I don't know, he caught eye contact, then he, then, then he just, then he, he like, grabbed the gun. And uh, it was kind of like a struggle, and I pulled the gun, pulled the gun back from him. And uh, then I fired, I fired, um, three times. The following morning, police questioned people in the area just to see if anybody had any information. Depp was actually one of the people police questioned. And um, obviously, he denied that he knew anything about what happened. One week later, Depp went to the East River and dumped the gun he used during the robbery. Approximately five years later, Depp's music would catch the attention of Sean Diddy Combs, and he ended up signing a $350,000 deal with Bad Boy Records. I'm coming from the street standpoint, you understand? So it's like, I'm going from Kennedy Fried, Kennedy Fried Chicken to, to Calamari. Which one you gonna pick? You know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't really too much of a headache. When I, when I met Puff Daddy, this is to, you know, to, to, to meet him formally to you know, talk about the contract and, all, and everything. He, he sent the Bentley to the project. I was just G-Dep, you know what I mean? Running around, doing my little, my little shows here and there, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I was doing. I mean, I saw something silver coming down the block and the lights, you know, the lights on the car, on, on the Bentley got, you know, they got the round lights. So it was like, it was coming down the block and you seen it coming down the block almost like, you know what I mean? Like it looked like unreal, like, a uh, spacecraft in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? He rolled out the window. It was like, you know, it was like, it was like kind of unspoken. I kind of knew that it was the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. He, he, he laid it down flat. He was like, yo, I'm going to sign you. In 2001, he released his smash single, Let's Get It, featuring Diddy and Black Rob. The same year, Depp dropped his Billboard chart and track, Special Delivery, and released his debut album, Child of the Ghetto. On the outside looking in, it seemed like Depp's career was going in the right direction and he was enjoying life to the fullest. But in all actuality, he was hunted by his past. Like, you know, I was going through my I was going through my thing, you know what I'm saying? I was to the point where I, you know, I ain't really I ain't really have too much paper. My money was kind of low, you know what I mean? So I was robbing, doing things I ain't had no business doing, you know what I'm saying? I got caught up. It got to a point. But GDEP had to rely on PCP 
as well as other drugs to deal with his inner pain. His drug use and depression affected his ability to make music and he was eventually dropped from Bad Boy. He was back in the streets, doing everything he could to survive and provide for his family, as well as hold on to his music dream. But he was unable to run from his past. I fired um, three times. And um, I didn't realize it was hitting him or anything. I just, cause I, I didn't, I didn't see anything. Or, you know, I, I just fired. I, I fired uh, three times, and then, then I, uh, I went uh, after after I fired the gun. I just I kind of just like ran back to the the the. The, the bicycle that I had on the side, and I got on it. He kind of he kind of came after me, and I rode off. And I, I rode I rode up the block, and then around the block, and then I came like back around the block on the hundred and twelfth at Park Avenue and looked up the block. And I, um, and I, I saw like I saw uh, you know like a scene. Or, uh, I saw like a police a police car. I don't know if it was, uh, I saw a car with the lights. The, you know the lights coming towards me the wrong way. You know the wrong way on the, on the block. And I saw an officer look like was somebody kneeling over the somebody on the floor. So I figured that's what it was. And I, then I, I, I just rolled the bike back around the opposite way, and then I went into my building. On December 16th of 2010, GDAP walked into the 25th precinct and confessed to robbing and shooting 32-year-old John Hinkle. The case had been cold for several years at that point, and the police were surprised by GDAP's confession, especially considering the victim had died. Man got caught selling gray beige every day to the same news namesake. Got caught with the fuzz like he ain't shaved for eight days. I said, forget the trial. Go to jail being PC like internet and fouls. Told him God bless the child. He's swimming like Phelps, helping the next to drown. Etching him out. If you got depth in your mouth, you're effing around. And fuck who the best in the South. I'm stressing the house. I'm trying to let the V murk. Thanks to Jet Research. Car see through top like a wet t-shirt. Come and try your edge, I suit up like Iron Man to come through 100. Although Depp was finally able to enjoy peace of mind after his confession, he was now facing a murder charge. He decided to go to trial and was found guilty of second degree murder. On May 8th of 2012, G Depp was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. GDAP is currently incarcerated at the Elmira Correctional Facility, which is a maximum security prison located in upstate New York. GDAP is um, eligible for parole in December of 2025, unless something changes in the near future. Hopefully things will go his way once he gets out and he'll be able to resume his music career and live his life to the fullest. I don't know if it's if it's ever over. You, I think it's over when you say it's over. You know, I don't think it's really ever over until you know, until you know that, that you know, until I until I until I nail us in that coffin, man. Yeah.